All right. Hello. Welcome back. Now that you're familiarized with your Elite, let's go ahead and talk about how do you customize for presentations that will not only be effective, but impress your audience. And let's open up a presentation and see how it works. Okay, now we are in presentation mode. Let's see what happens. The first button we selected was Zoom. You'll notice the clarity of the Zoom. I can zoom in any direction. And one thing I didn't point out is that I'm not pointing at the computer. So you can point in any direction. The next button we have is called Spotlight. So Spotlight enables you to have the ability to focus on a core area. You can also adjust the size and the shape by simply depressing the left mouse button. And then the third button that we programmed was Reveal. So this is great if you had, for example, a question or an image and you had the answer on the other side. Now let's look at gestures. So now that we're advancing the slides within a presentation, let's go back. Where did it go back? I simply depress and do the same thing but the opposite direction. Moving forward is to the right. Moving backwards is to the left. Two more functionalities that we've programmed into the Elite with gestures is highlighter and object shape insertion into the presentation. Let's look at highlighter. For highlighter, we're going to depress the center gesture button and swipe in the up direction. Now we have our highlighter. Well, let's go ahead and change the color. Simply move to the bottom right corner and pick the color that you like. Let's go with uh, aqua blue. The other thing you can do here is change the size of the highlighter. Let's uh, go a little larger. All right. Now let's go ahead and highlight. In order to highlight, simply move your arrow or the mouse in the direction of the area that you want covered. And there you go. Now we've just highlighted a text box. Now let's look at object insertion into a presentation. Same thing, we'll depress the gesture button, swipe on the downside, and now we have an arrow. And in order to insert the arrow, simply move your mouse so the leads in the direction you like. Once you've found the spot that you want, depress your left mouse button. Now that arrow has been inserted. But maybe you want different shapes. Let's go ahead and pick a star. The other nice thing you can do with uh, object insertion is change the shape and the orientation of the object. So as you can see, I'm moving my hand in a counterclockwise position or clockwise. And by moving it up and down slowly, I can change the size from small to large. So let's go with a small star, and we'll put that one right here. So now that you have some cool new functions and features to play around with when you're giving presentations, I'm going to pass the baton back to you, and it's your turn to wow the socks off your audience. Enjoy your elite.